Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be talking about Newton's first law of motion. So what Newton's first law of motion says is that an object continues its own state of rest or motion until an external agent acts on it. And that's it, that's Newton's first law of motion. So what this means is that, let's say we have a table, okay? Okay, this doesn't look like a nice table, but let's say this is a table. And let's say you have a book or a pen or something here. Let's say we have a pen here. So what Newton says is that this pen or this pencil is at rest, right? And it's always going to be in rest. All is going to be in rest. Unless, until, right, an external agent acts on it. Or unless an external is and acts on it, it's always going to be rest. The pencil or the pen is not going to move by itself, you know. This is at rest, it's always going to be at rest. Obviously, if an external agent, let's say like you, try to move this pen, then it will move, obviously. But Newton's talking about there is no external agent, okay? Until and unless an external agent acts on it, this pen will always stay in rest. Okay? Similarly, Let's say we have a ball, okay? And let's say this ball is moving continuously. Okay? So what Newton says is that unless there is any external agent, this ball continues to move like eternally. It will always keep on moving. It will never stop. Now obviously this does not happen in our real life because there is an external agent in our real life, which is friction. <coughs> so we have friction in our everyday life, right? So this friction is short of acting like an external agent. That's the reason this ball stops. If there were no friction, right, then this ball will always keep on moving. Let's say we made the surface extremely smooth, okay? And we put oil here, right? There is no friction, then this ball will move continuously for all eternity. Okay? It will never stop if there is no friction, if there is zero friction. Okay? Yeah. And that's it. That's Newton's first law of motion. Now, one interesting thing about Newton's first law of motion is that it also gives us the definition of force. How, right? So this external agent that Newton was talking about, right, which, you know, tries to move the object from rest to motion or sometimes from motion to rest is actually called force. And hence we can define force as the external agent which changes the state of a body from rest to motion or motion to rest. So what Newton's first law of motion says is that an object continues its own state of rest, right, or motion until an external agent acts on it, right? If there is no external agent, it will always continue its own state of rest or motion and this our external agent right for example here we have our human being right and here we have friction these external agents which changes the state of the body from rest you know to motion like this person can change it from rest to motion or this friction changing it from motion to rest right this external agent according to newton is our force and hence we can define a force 
as the external agent which changes the state of a body from either from rest to motion or from motion to rest okay it's the external agent which changes the state of a body and that's it if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe to our channel thank you